Welcome to MATLAB Tutorials brought to you by Engineerize.com where we engineer your eyes. This week's lecture is on Simulink. Simulink is a companion program to MATLAB which is used for modeling, simulating and analyzing dynamic systems. You'll find Simulink library here which opens to library browser which contains various components from various fields and if you're not sure where to find a particular component you can search it here. In our first example, we'll start with a simple spring mass system and build on it to create four stamped oscillations. Okay, we'll have to create a new model. You can click this icon or go to new Simulink model. So we know that the equation for spring mass system is mx double dash plus kx equals zero. which can be written as x double dash equals minus k by m x. Now integrating x double dash twice will give me x. So I'll pull out an integrator block from commonly used blocks. Say the left side of it inputs x double dash. You can double click the arrow to write that. So after integrating we get x dash from the other side. We'll have to integrate it again on the right we get x. Now we have to multiply minus k by m to x. For multiplying we use gain and the value of gain will be minus k by m. Now it will show if you extend this a bit and you can rotate it by pressing ctrl r. At the output of gain we get minus k by m times x which is equal to x double dash. So we'll connect it this is the complete model of a spring mass system. Also, we need to set two boundary conditions. Double click on this integrator block and change initial condition to 1, which means x equals 1 at time equals 0. That is, the oscillation is started by displacing the body by one unit. In the other integrator, initial condition is set to 0 by default. That is, no initial velocity was provided. We can see the variation of x with time by using scope. We'll rename this as position. To run this simulation, we'll have to provide values to k and m. Now let's run this. Double clicking the scope, you can find the position of the body versus time and it looks like an undamped simple harmonic motion. So next we'll add a damper. So the equation changes. This time x is multiplied by k and x dash is multiplied by c. Then they are added. For this, we'll use sum from the library. We'll also change their signs. So we have this part, we just have to multiply it with 1 by m. The output from the gain block is the RHS which is equal to x double dash. I'll assign a value for c and we're good to go. This is the graph for a free damped oscillation. On the x-axis you see it has been calculated for 10 seconds only. When you maximize the graph doesn't look so smooth. You can fix that by clicking on this icon. Change the stop time and maximum step size. Click OK and run the simulation. Now we'll go for forced damped oscillations. We'll include a sine wave generator from source and add it using the sum block. We'll add another input for it 
will make it rectangular. Okay, we'll change some values and run this. So we can think of this part as the spring mass damper system to which the external force is an input and the scope is an output. So we'll make it a subsystem. We'll create a mask of the subsystem and display a name say spring mass damper system. Under parameters and dialog tab We'll create three parameters, mass as m, spring constant as k, and damping coefficient as c. Okay, so now, when you double click this, it will ask for the values of the parameters. The model we had created is still inside this. We can check it by clicking this little arrow here. Another thing we'll do is, we'll stream x to the data inspector. Now we can compare the graphs of x for different values of parameters. This week up to here, thank you.